So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to Steam and then you want to find Apex Legends. Once you find Apex Legends, you want to right click on it and then click on properties and then make sure that you're on the general tab and then next to launch options, you want to copy and paste the launch options that I'll leave down below in the description. Just copy and paste this and you can close this out. Now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in Windows Defender Firewall. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on advanced settings. And then you want to click on inbound rules and then click on new rule. Then you want to select port and then click on next. And then you want to select UDP. Now once you're on this, you want to type in 49150-65535 and then click on next. Then click on next again, click on next again, and then just call it anything you want. I'll just call it Apex Legends and then click on finish. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Once you're on this, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and then click on enter. Then we're going to type in NETSH space windsock space reset and then click on enter. It's going to ask you to restart the computer, but don't do it yet so you complete the next step in the video. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to find either your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Whichever one you have, you want to double click on it and then click on properties. And then click on internet protocol version 4. And then you want to make sure that use the following DNS server address has been ticked. You want to make the first line 88888. And you want to make the second line 8844 and then click on OK. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart the computer and then the problem should be fixed.